Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at the price of oil, and this is a key topic, obviously, for markets in general. And we have the Doha oil producer meeting involving some of the OPEC members and Russia talking about a possible production freeze. So we want to talk about the scenarios leading into that and what any outcome could mean for the oil price. So the oil price, both Brent and WTI, have hit new highs for 2016 as of this week. Uh, quite an unprecedented turnaround given the, the sharp slump that we saw at the start of the year. A lot of it has been over expectation that there may be some change in the supply picture from the oil producing nations, namely Saudi Arabia and Russia, in this agreement. And this meeting has been scheduled on and off for a few weeks. We have a firm date now, it's this Sunday, uh, the 17th of April. And so really the optimism in the, is being displayed in the oil price uh, that actually some sort of action can be taken. Now that's certainly not, not um, guaranteed, uh, one scenario is that there is in fact some form of agreement, but a loose agreement where actually no specific quotas are mentioned on, on how output has been capped from these different countries. So while in theory they're agreeing to freeze production, there could be some sort of leeway in that, which wouldn't be quite as, uh, as good for, for bringing in that, that supply picture. The big outlier country is Iran. They've just come out of sanctions, obviously. And so they've said all along that they don't want to participate in a freeze. So really what we're looking at here is, do, how does Iran participate? Do they completely step back and say, we're not involved in this? Um, or do they say, well, we agree with this, but we're not participating? Or perhaps an outside chance that not many have been talking about is actually maybe Iran agree to freezing at some future higher level of production, closer to their historical standards. All of those scenarios uh, where Iran actually agrees in some form could be bullish for the oil price. If no, I think probably the worst scenario for the oil price would be if actually no, no agreement gets put in whatsoever. That would be, that would be pretty disappointing and, and could see oil prices dip back down, maybe even towards the, the lows that we saw this year. Now, the, the oil ministers from both Russia and Saudi Arabia have been commenting throughout. Um, one of the last sets of comments that we heard from Saudi Arabia was uh, when asked about a production cut, he was saying, forget about this topic. So not too optimistic from him. Uh, the, uh, the Russian oil minister has talked up the prospect of a, um, of a production cut, but he was the one that really outlined this idea that actually maybe there wouldn't be a very tight agreement on the quotas. So. That bearing in mind, the oil price still looks fairly strong, but it's come off its highs. If we have a look at the daily price chart now for oil, you can see what we're dealing with here is uh, a broken downsloping trend line. Uh, we've come down, we've retested that trend line twice, and we've moved to the upside. We've moved through previous support in and around the sort of 41 level on Brent crude. And what we're possibly looking at now is whether the, the Brent crude price can, can take out this 200-day moving average uh, and maybe move higher to this next level of resistance in the sort of 46-type region. Um, one of, the, one of the, the headwinds that we're looking at here is that the RSI that you can see at the bottom of the chart here is approaching the sort of 70 level that has caught a top in, in recent times. Now, if we are above the 200-day moving average, this RSI topping out means a bit less than when we're below it, um, but still nonetheless could be the cause of a bit of a pullback before we can make any more progress here in, in, in the crude price. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at oil, of course. Uh, specifically, we looked at a, a chart of Brent crude leading into these Doha meetings on Sunday. Quite a few bullish scenarios coming out there. If some sort of agreement can be reached, I think that probably is consensus looking at the, the rise in the oil price leading into it. The risks are that as we hit this 200 day moving average on the price, that actually some sort of not, not, no participation from Iran or, so, or actually no agreement whatsoever, you know, that could be bearish for the price.